are going to get real fucking fired up about this one. Um, we're wasting food during this pandemic right now. We're wasting food during a fucking pandemic when there are people that don't have work that are concerned about when that savings is going to run out, that are concerned about uh, when you know everything is just going to stop, when there isn't going to be any sort of payments coming in, you know, when if this thing goes on for another two fucking months, how are people going to pay their rent and afford food? There are people worried about this sort of shit, and we are wasting food doing it. The Wisconsin dairy farmers right now are dumping tens of thousands of gallons of milk. Why? To save the milk market. To save the milk market. It's literally what it is, too. Uh, the, the executive director of the cheese conglomerate, I can't remember exactly what it is, but he's some executive. He's some fucking suit that sits in an office probably eating cheeses that we've never fucking heard of as plebes, uh, said that it's to save the milk market, which is fucking ridiculous because even pre-pandemic, even before all this stuff, there were hundreds and thousands of people starving that needed food, that go to bed hungry. Um, and we weren't doing enough to help them out, which is fucking insane. Now, there's a lot more unemployed people, right? Like, there, I think we're at like 6 million people that are applying for unemployment or something like that. It Like, the number just escalated pretty incredibly. Um, and... A lot more families that are going to be struggling. And what do these fucking dairy executives think of? Their profit margin. Their bottom line. Before people. Before families that could use that fucking food. Are you insane? What kind of sociopath sits there and goes, I'd rather waste it. Uh, then, like, donate it to, like, someone that fucking needs it, okay? That, that, and that's the argument that they're making. That they can't, they can't give it away. They can't donate it to, like, a food shelter or whatever. Like, they can't, they, they just can't do that because, uh, well, the profit margins would go down. The, the, the market shares would go down. Our stock prices would, would decrease. You know, that, uh, the, the intern that I have to come in to tickle my balls, well, I would have to let that person go. And, you know, is that what you want? You want job loss, even higher job loss in this country? You know, I mean, I don't pay the intern. Um, that's just part of the, the job description that I put on Indeed.com. Well, I had to take it down from Indeed.com, so I had to circumvent it uh, to, to, to say, you know, to testicular favors to, to make it... Um, to make it more palatable to people. Uh, and everybody had a lot of questions, but only but only Kyle stepped up. Okay, do you want Kyle to be out of a job? Because you wanted some families to be fed. Are you thinking about Kyle? Sure, I don't pay Kyle, and Kyle's not getting fed. But if you're not thinking about Kyle, they would rather pour gallons of milk tens of thousands of gallons of milk down the drain. And I watched this video, and even the dairy farmers are like, I don't really want to fucking do this. Like, I would rather see my hard work go to to do something. To, like, mean something, you know? Like, I would rather it go to a hung... But, I mean, I guess if the fucking dairy conglomerate says that we gotta do this, we gotta do this? No, you fucking don't. <laughs> you don't have to do this. <laughs> The idea <clears throat> the idea that this the 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 executives this this suit somewhere in some fucking ivory tower that's probably never even stepped on a dairy farm before that probably doesn't even know what cows look like you know to to him the cow is just a giant udder um and that's it. It's just the, 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 when, when he draws a picture of cows, he just draws an udder 
and then uh, uh, and then dollar signs coming out of it. Like that's what they understand to be. Um, they they basically said, well, maybe the government will step in and give us money so that we can donate it to feeding programs. Or you could just fucking do it because that's the right thing to do, you fucking sociopaths. You could just give it to to mutual aid groups, to fucking grocery stores that are that that everybody is going nuts, right? Like all these grocers, they're going fucking crazy, and they're probably taking food and milk and shit off the shelves. And once you donate it, keep track of what you donate. I'm sure you have a system of doing that. That's how you fucking keep up with with what your markets are worth anyway. That fucking fake bullshit that you preach. This is real milk. You're pouring real milk down the drain to keep a fake economy running. Right now, Netherlands has too many fucking potatoes. Um, and, uh, and that's kind of the same problem, right? These restaurants, uh, they're just not buying because they don't have the same level of uh, sales that are going through these restaurants. And uh, the Netherlands are, they have this surplus of potatoes. They have this huge surplus of potatoes. And uh, you know what they're not doing with their potatoes? Uh, it's just setting it on fire. They're not just burning down shacks of potatoes in the Netherlands. They are trying to sell it. I think the dude said, like, he's selling it for um, essentially, like, what would, what would be a penny instead of 18 cents uh, per kilogram or something like that. So he's reducing the rate significantly, but he's like, I will at least make something. And, you know, then somebody else can buy it too, and they got food for their family. Maybe they can help somebody else. I don't know, you know? Like, they're not giving it away. <clears throat> so even if you look at this and you go, maybe some of these feeding programs in America have a little bit of cash. So if I'm selling the milk at four bucks a gallon, maybe I drop that down to about a buck, a dollar a gallon, then the farmers still get something. And how about this? Maybe the executive doesn't have to fucking take a cut. If you really care about the farmers that much, right? It's like, oh, well, the, the markets will crash, and then what are the, I mean, these farmers are going to be out of work, and that's crazy. Well, if you give a shit about these farmers, if you give a shit about the American people, if you give a shit about families that can't feed themselves in a month, then maybe sell it for a buck instead of four, right? And maybe you don't fucking take a cut of it. Dude, there are record labels doing that right now. Not big ones, smaller ones. They're giving most of their profits back to the artist. You think, and like, you're telling me a small business can afford to take a little bit less so that somebody can survive a little bit longer, and you're telling me that an executive that probably makes billions of dollars can't fucking give up one month, one fucking month of pay to make sure that the farmers are taken care of and some fucking hungry people are taken care of. <clears throat> That's fucking sociopathic. And that's what, they're, that's what they're protecting. They're protecting their wealth. They're protecting their income and not giving a shit about it. And, and it's like, even if they lose one month's worth of income, if any of these, if, if, if this dairy executive loses one month worth of income, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. They're 100% going to be fine. You know who's not? That farmer that has to throw this fucking milk away, man. That's crazy. This is incredibly short-sighted, incredibly short-sighted, because you could just have this stuff in reserve. You could just have this stuff in stock, right? Like, put it into a freezer, um, put it into a freezer, and, and you know, maintain it, um, and then when there's a shortage, because there probably will be a shortage, uh, you can, you have now something to give back to the community, and, and it would make you look like a, not like a fucking... A cartoon villain. Pittsburgh's food bank, where I'm from, is strained. Is is well, is a report that I saw uh, that they're doing okay, but they are. The, I mean, this is higher demand than they've ever seen before. Um, so, you know, eventually, there's going to be less donations. There's going to be less government you know, government programs purchasing food for these, for, for these suppliers. Um, and here's the thing, 
the, these food banks depend on us to donate to them. Why aren't these corporations making any donations? <clears throat> I mean, isn't is, um, that that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Because they don't care about people. They care about that market. That market, oh, the stock prices. You know that fake shit we invent and we put a bell to it and we ring a bell so that, uh, so that it lets the, the dragon of the market know that it needs to rise. Um, and then when we hit the bell a second time, it tells the dragon of the market that it can go underground and collect all those market shares and add it to the other market shares and bonds that are in that underground cave. Um, you know, you know that one? Yeah, and then, uh, and, then, and then the bull has to come out to make sure that the dragon just doesn't come out and just spread that market share everywhere. The bull is there to protect Wall Street and the market. And because if that happens, then, you know, the, I mean, the whole, the earth could shatter because the core, I don't know if you guys know this, but the core of the planet is actually made up of molten market shares that, that the dragon will then pull out. If you want to, like, buy, you know, like, if you want to, like, sell your shares or whatever, <clears throat> it pulls it out and unmoltens it. Um, and only the dragon can know exactly how that works. That's why they need the bell. That's what these assholes care about. Some fake bullshit that they made up. And what we really need, what we really need going forward, uh, I think we need a program that uh, manages and penalizes food waste, that makes these fucking assholes accountable for wasting as much of food as they do, and, and holds us accountable for it too, because, because the consumer end of things is also a major problem. About, I want to say almost two years ago now, I did a video... Uh, specifically talking about food waste and organic food, why the cost of organic food is so high. Um, go check that out if you can. I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to find the links to that and drop it in the comments of this video. Um, uh, but, but if you have time, check those videos out because it really goes in-depth into this food waste problem that we have. Um, but 40% of our food goes to waste globally. For almost half, almost half. That's crazy pants. That's fucking crazy pants to me. Um, that 40% of food that can go to waste, could, like that alone could probably feed every hungry person in, in the world. That's crazy that we're not taking care of our food better. We shouldn't be putting profits in front of food. This is why we need them general strikes. If that farmer would have just said fucking no, you come down and do it. Mr. Cheese, cheese man, Mr. Dairy, Mr. Dairy executive man. We're done. You milk these cows. See how, see how, see how you like that shit. If I milk these cows, I'm going directly down to the school in, in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and fucking handing out milk to the kids that fucking need it. We need farmers to fucking do that right now. To go against these fucking dairy executives that don't care about the farmer, that don't care about the people, because the farmer's not going to get shit out of this deal anyway. They're not. If you think that the farmer's going to get taken care of, fuck no. It's these executives. It's these agriculture executives. It's these dairy executives. They're the ones that are going to get the bailouts. So fuck them. At this point, if, all, if they're worried about their market, then fuck their market. Help out your neighbors. Help out the people that actually need this shit. Actually need the food. Stop wasting it. Oh, I told you that was going to get heated. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and a subscribe and a share. Share it out with your friends, your enemies, whoever you think would enjoy content like this. I'm going to be putting out videos like this every single day. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel uh, and make sure you hit that bell so you get all the alerts from all the videos that I put out there. Uh, and uh, and if you, if you have the means to, uh, please consider making a, a donation. I know we are all in tough times, but if you, if you can, uh, you can become a sustaining member or make a one-time donation at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash 
donate. You can check out various different ways of becoming a sustaining member or just make a one-time donation. Uh, while you're on my website, you can also check out all of my past comedy albums, which are available on all of your favorite streaming and uh, downloading websites, if that's, that's, if that's a way that you can you say that. Uh, <laughs> but they're also available on Bandcamp, which uh, right now is giving the most back to artists. Uh, but also on my Bandcamp, they are all available for a pay what you want. If you would like to enjoy some live stand-up comedy albums from me and you don't have the means, if you're in tough times, that's totally fine. You can download it for free. Go ahead and get it for free and enjoy it. Uh, or if you do and if you want somebody else to enjoy it, you can get it to them as a gift. Uh, that's also a, a recommended thing. Uh, but most importantly, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Um, thank you guys for, for all the people that have already donated, that have already become patrons. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And uh, until the next video, we'll see you on the road. Thank you, guys.